What you're about to see is one of the craziest things that ever happened to me in my entire life. What happened was I built a birdhouse and put it out in my yard and eventually it got taken over by bees. A colony of bees moved in and I decided that that wasn't going to be okay and that I needed to move those bees out of my birdhouse and into a proper beehive. I have a friend who is a professional beekeeper and he told me exactly how to move the bees but he wasn't able to be there with me the day that I had to do it. So I faced down this entire colony of bees and totally disrupted their lives and managed somehow to not even get stung once during the entire incident. Take a look, here's how it went down. nuts. <laughs> how the heck am I supposed to take this thing apart? And how the heck am I supposed to figure out which one is the queen? I guess it's like eating an elephant. We're going to do it one bite at a time. I'm going to assume the queen is not here. The queen is probably deep down in the middle, right? So this part, I'm just going to set aside and not worry about for now. Let's hope that was not a fatal assumption. This, this is just nuts. Well, maybe it'll be easier if I disassemble more. This officially goes down as the craziest thing I've ever done. find the queen in all of this. All I can do is take it one step at a time here.
it's pretty clear now what we got here. Now it's just a matter of getting it out. An expert has told me exactly what to do. Now the question is, can I do it? <laughs> so, I have to get those honeycombs into this. And I also have to try to identify the queen. That is a very tall order. I should have put those rubber bands in first. Do not break it. Mm -hmm. like it has a low probability of working because I don't really see myself identifying the queen here. She's probably just going to fly off. Okay, this time I got smart and I put the rubber bands in first. There's no shortage of rubber bands. So I'll use more than last time. <laughs> the queen is probably in this nest here somewhere, but where? I have the slightest clue. Perhaps she'll just move. That's the other thing Rick, Rick warned me about. I have to pay attention to up. I don't want to tilt these things facing down, and I'm in trouble. I honestly don't know if I did the other one correctly now that I think about it. But. Okay, if this whole thing fails, I know why it's going to fail. It's gonna fail because I'm gonna lose the queen. She's gonna fly off, and they're gonna make a swarm somewhere else, and never come back. Just looking 
to see if through some miracle I would see somebody that stood out as the queen. <laughs> Here's what I'm seeing. How the heck do you identify the queen in that mess? Different technique here. Mm -hmm. I'm rapidly running out of room. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna throw a bunch of honeycomb in here. Mm -hmm. Loose. given up on identifying the queen. I can't do it. I'm too inexperienced. I wouldn't know a queen if she jumped in the jumped me in the face. Although God look at the difference in size. There's several bees here that are much bigger. This one is much bigger. That one is much bigger. I'm just going to say that what if I'm lucky? What if I'm the luckiest guy new to beekeeping? Throw those two in there. Say those were the queen. Here. Hope that the rest of these guys will just go find their queen. 
Okay, my plan is button this thing up. <laughs> and uh, count my blessings that I haven't got stung. <laughs>